Welcome to SID 2021. My name is Jan-Matthijs Termeulen of the company Morphotonics. And in the next talk, I would like to discuss the role to play nano imprint technology, uh, which is well suitable for the uh, high volume production of AR classes. The nano imprint technology is beneficial for many different applications. You can think of uh, directional lighting, uh, directional lighting used to illuminate uh, squared uh, uh, museum pieces. Or you can think of uh, 3D uh, gaming where you have superior uh, experience while gaming. And of course, you can think about augmented reality or mixed reality. And if you discuss augmented reality, well, often the discussion is, is this the next big thing? Well, for sure, augmented reality has the advantage that you are not bound to a device anymore. And this will only work if the information exchange to the uh, augmented reality glasses is fast. Well, you need high bandwidth connectivity, also called 5G. Of course, you need a very power efficient uh, device. Uh, uh, you should not every half hour need to load your battery again. And of course, the augmented reality glasses should be lightweight, light efficient, bright, and have superior optics. And with our technology, we can enable this. But of course, there are many challenges. Well, for augmented reality, quality is everything. The, the glasses should have a large field of view and have a high brightness. And to enable this, the slanted gratings are used, but slanted gratings are complex to replicate. The replication is done in high refractive index resins uh, with a refractive index of over 1.9. These are available, but often with a high viscosity. Um, while replicating them in these high viscous resins or resins with a solvent, you still want to uh, obtain uh, an imprint with a very thin residual layer thickness. The availability of the high refractive index classes uh, is, is challenging. And of course, most important, the high volume of the glasses, and all at, this, at a high precision, having uniform imprints, being dimensional stable, still at a very high throughput. And these topics will be discussed in the next presentation. At Morphotonics, we have developed a role to plate imprint technology. And with our technology, we replicate, as the name says, textures placed on a flexible stamp. By use of a roller, we transfer it onto discrete substrate plates. The flex stamp is not, well, it could be wrapped around one roller. In our case, we use multiple rollers. The flex stamp is pressed into the resin. This resin is a UV durable resin. So after the flex stamp is pressed into the resin, the uh, resin is solidified by UV light. Uh, you can immediately delaminate the flex stamp again and the imprint is finished and also the product is finished. The nice thing about our technology and our material set is that you can immediately reuse the flexible stamp again for over 500 times. This makes it fast, cost effective, and the nice thing is that it's, the technology is scalable. You can enlarge the rollers, you can enlarge the flex stamps, and hereby you can replicate at larger substrates. At Morphotonics, we have developed a technology which is able to replicate nanostructures at uh, substrate sizes of over one square meter.
if you are able to replicate on such a large substrate, you could use that capability to uh, add optical structures to large products like solar panels. But what we mainly do is we use the large area capability to increase the throughput. So we tile multiple master areas on one flex stamp. Typically, and especially for augmented reality or other applications using nano uh, structures, the mastering of these small or tiny structures is, uh, is challenging and is limited to wafer scale. So having a, a master on a wafer scale uh, means that uh, this small size can be uh, tiled multiple times together on a flex time. So uh, imagine if you have a 300 millimeter wafer, well, then you can add multiple uh, areas of this uh, uh, wafer aside and in the length on a flex time. And then each imprint, you do not replicate one uh, uh, wafer, but a 10 or a 15 up, so 15 times as high a throughput. The uh, flex time with uh, uh, increased or scaled up master uh, uh, has the, the, the different area, master areas tiled together. We, we call this a product tiling. So it means that there is a seam in between the different areas. So we do not enlarge, no, we replicate multiple products on, by, by using a larger uh, flex stamp. The stitch is optical visible. However, the stitch should not impact the input quality, so it should not disturb the flow of resin. And this is what we have demonstrated uh, in, in the past. So here you see a, a, a large Gen 5 flex stamp with different uh, textures to uh, Submicron textures and larger micron diffusers. So there are 13 areas of these smaller, but you cannot see this on this picture, and then four large micron uh, structures. And these, these different structures, submicron and micron sized, can all be replicated in one input cycle with a good quality uh, in one uh, with one resin and with one input settings. Um, and the nice thing is, uh, while well, doing this while well, uh, de developing this, uh, we have developed a, a, a tiling method to have a stage ratio of well, around 20 microns, uh, a stage height of 2 microns, and a covalentity of uh, 2 microns amongst the, the tiles. And this is uh, sufficient uh, to uh, ensure that the uh, imprint quality on all of the 70 different areas is, is good and preserved. Another topic is the high refractive index resin. At Morphotonics, in our auto plate technology, we do not use solvent based resins. Most of the high refractive index resins are solvent based. However, our flex stems cannot absorb solvents. Therefore, our resins has to be solvent free. And we worked together on this topic with Pixelligent. And together we developed a, a, a resin with 1.85 refractive index and a low viscosity of uh, below 600 millipas. Uh, yeah, and, and this enables to replicate these structures uh, with a good fidelity and uh, 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 a low shrinkage, as also shown here in the pictures. Excelligence even further developed presence and also 1.9 is available solvent-free. A third topic is layer thickness uniformity. Of course, if you replicate on a large Gen 5 size, 
the layer thickness has to be uniform over the full surface. And this is what we can enable with our technology. First, if you look at a smaller 500 by 400 millimeter imprint, uh, having a texture of uh, close to one micron, we have a residual layer thickness variation of plus or minus 40 nanometers. If you use our larger Portis Nail 1100, we can uh, 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 replicate with a different texture, with a blank texture, but also with uh, uh, other uh, textures, we can replicate layer thicknesses of 150 nanometer. And then the variation is only uh, 35 nanometers. So we have a very small uh, layer thickness variation. It's not zero, but it's minimal. Uh, but also, we show that the residual layer thickness itself can be very thin, 150 nanometer or even lower. The last topic is the uniform replication for augmented reality. It is important that the, uh, uh, that the track pitch of uh, the optical structure is maintained. So, uh, if the temperature raises or the humidity changes during the production process, then uh, the track page or the, the, the uh, array, the optical array should not be uh, altered. And of course, this is a challenge for a technology which uses uh, a flexible stamp. Luckily, Monfotonics developed different flexible stamp designs. We have developed a high dimensional uh, uh, stable flex stamp, which has a thermal uh, expansion coefficient, uh, which is close to glass. Which means uh, here you have the standard uh, uh, or basic dimensional stability stamp, which has, has standard expansion coefficients. If you improve the design, you can steer the expansion coefficients to the range similar to glass. And it means that if you make an imprint and the temperature changes, well, the impact will be minimal. So also uh, uh, the, the substrate materials will slightly uh, increase or decrease. But thermal and humidity changes are not the only uh, uh, challenges and uh, uh, factors determining uh, stretch or altering the dimension of the uh, stamp. Forces applied on the stamp will, of course, also determine the dimensional stability. The equipment itself, uh, as well as the process, will put tension on the flex stamp. If we uh, do a measurement on Gen 5 size with a, a basic, a, a low end. Uh, dimensional stable stamp, we measure variations of 30 micron over the large surface. This shows that uh, in the process, still uh, 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 positions shift. The nice thing about these measurements is that it shows where to improve in your equipment and process. Moreover, if we use a high dimensional stability stamp, then the variations will be smaller, reaching the levels required for augmented reality. To summarize, the Morphotonics Water Plate Nano Imprint technology is well suitable to replicate augmented reality applications. We have shown that we're solving free resonance with a high refractive index of 1.85 or even uh, 1.9 with a slightly higher viscosity. The imprints can be made with a very low residual layer thickness and low variation. And we've shown that uh, with high dimensional stability flex stamp, we can ensure a dimensional stable process. The roll to plate nano imprint technology is a, a highly interesting technology 
to increase and to serve a, 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 a mass market. It will be uh, maybe uh, um, the only uh, uh, method to use the uh, or to make the productions required and the numbers as predicted. Our technology is proven. It's sold to leading industry players and they have up and running uh, uh, worldwide. With our technology, we have the world's largest nano imprint equipment in substrate size, 1.1 by 1.3 meter. Um, and in this last slide, I would like to thank the team for all the hard work, and I would like to thank the fabulous uh, consortium, uh, the EPIC uh, consortium, as well as the uh, Dutch Avio uh, subsidizing the Eliania uh, project, which all contributed to this work. Thank you very much for your attention.